Well, they are scaling back surveillance. Senators who oversee the U.S. intelligence issues have approved a plan to limit just how many phone records belonging to American citizens the NSA can sweep up. That means no more of these bulk collections, which the NSA has come under fire for after contractor turned leaker Edward Snowden revealed that the agency had monitored and stored emails belonging to 200 million Americans. And the U.S. irked allies after stories surfaced that our government has also been spying on world leaders for years. Years. So is all this snooping necessary and should we expect Big Brother to behave like this from here on out? Our Pat Bailey is live in the Albany newsroom tonight with more on that story. Pat? Well, Dory, two security experts tell me tonight that these are the times that we live in. Some privacy rights, they say, may have to be given up to keep Americans safe. And talking with everyday Americans, those who live right here in the capital region, the opinions are mixed on whether or not the government should in fact be snooping. Um, if I am being spied on, it would make me angry that we live in the United States and, you know, I thought we were supposed to be free from that. First, it was cell phone records, now search engines and emails. The National Security Agency is once again under fire for snooping on everyday Americans. The most recent report states 181 million emails from Americans were monitored and stored away. I don't see what's going to put the stop in it. And I don't think anyone should worry about there being a stop in it unless there's some reason why they need to worry. And then my sympathies are not with them. You know, it's getting to the point where your cell phone's not safe, your, your emails aren't safe. You know, what is safe? According to security experts, nothing. You have to make the assumption that every keystroke that you do is stored somewhere on a hard drive, and if someone decides to run scans and open a file, it's going to be available to them. Larry Zimbler of Libertex in Albany says since 9-11, nothing the government does should shock anyone. Well, it's completely legal. The government uh, writes the laws. Is it common? I don't know if it's common, but it's uh, what we're in the midst of. So where does it end? Many believe it will not. A national security preparedness expert says that is probably true, but it's the current day price Americans pay to be protected from terrorists. So if I hear people talking about, well, the, the, you know, there's terrorists that's got a lot of chatter going on, well, that's how they find it out. That's uh, why he's dropping. So I think people shouldn't be shocked that this is going on. Now, Google has responded to these claims. In a statement, they say they have increased hacking prevention measures and that they do not supply the government, they say, with any information on their own. Now, part of their statement read, we are outraged that the lengths of which the government has seemed to have gone to inter uh, intercept data from our private fiber networks, end quote. Dory? And as for the NSA tonight, Pat, taking responsibility, admitting to the spying? Well, not exactly. They, too, put out a statement to the Washington Post, who, by the way, first reported this. And part of that uh, statement said, quote, the NSA has multiple authorities that it uses to accomplish its mission, which is centered on defending the nation, end quote. Now, the only thing that they did deny was a report that they used an executive order to bypass a Foreign Intelligence Survey Act, uh, to bypass the Intelligence Form uh, Act, uh, to go ahead and obtain this information. Uh, live in the Albany Newsroom tonight, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Pat.